Good morning. Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. Say hi, mama. Say hi. Look. Say hi. <laughs> Okay, we just kind of wanted to stop by and somebody wanted to say hi, but now, but right now she's just playing with my hair. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Baby girl is six months old now. Wow. And time is just really, really going by really quickly. And there is lots happening this month. There's a lot of things that's kind of changing, like really changing. Uh, because she's, you know, in the six months. So now she's really not considered a little baby girl no more. She's like beginning to be a big girl now. One of those things she's doing is she's babbling. Say, so, yes, I'm talking more now. I'm starting to. Yeah, she loves the sound of her own voice. She really does. Um, so she just uses and practices all of these different pitches all the time so she's like just trying to see how high her voice can go and how low it can go <laughs> so it's just be so funny and yeah we like to eat our feet too clearly actually i can hear a lot of she has a wide range y'all of like vowels and and letters so i'm hearing the i's and the bas, the b's i'm hearing some d's almost um, I'm hearing wise, like, so she's like doing a lot of like, yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, some ends. She still ain't did the M. Mama. Mama. Are you going to say mama? <laughs> I want to hear that one. So she hasn't done that one yet. But, um, you know, so she's, so she's doing a lot of, um, babbling and practicing, you know, trying to form some some sounds and words and things um so she's playing around with just sounds for now she still loves to play uh you know y'all always seeing her on the floor we keep her on the floor a lot so that she gets a lot of tummy time in a lot of time to kind of practice the you know crawling the beginning stages of crawling and you know tightening up and strengthening those arm and back muscles and neck muscles and things so we just kind of keep her on the floor a lot so she still loves to play and she still just loves looking at her favorite person on TV, which is who? Achille. Achille. <laughs> Achille. So yeah, she still loves watching Achille on TV. She is currently teething again, y'all. So she went after she cut her two teeth from last month. She is now teething again. So, you know, so heavy. Actually, I just took her bib off um, just to, just before we started this video. But we, she's back to, I have to start putting bibs on her again for now. Because she's a lot of the heavy drooling. Um, you could tell her gums were really achy. Uh, because even yesterday, yesterday was a pretty rough day for her. Because, you know, I could tell her gums were really, really bothering her. Because she was pretty fussy and whiny yesterday. Today is better say today i feel a little better oh i do i do <laughs> so yeah so she's currently teething again so i don't know we're looking we're looking to start you know looking for this third tooth because she has a lot of that heavy drooling and stuff mm -hmm. i know it. i'm telling the people now say yes my gums have really been bothering me yeah as far as her sleep she is okay so she is doing a little better actually from last month because i know in our five month update i was telling y'all about her not her napping her not like this little one did not even want to close her eyes honey really but now she's taking at least one good nap a day and that's usually at 12 o'clock uh right after her feeding so she goes she usually goes down and stays down for about two to three hours and that's pretty much and hey that's good for me now there are days where she won't no no you you know i'm getting ready to tell on you mm -hmm. so there are days when she won't you know here and there where she won't she you know that that one nap is not even a go because she had one of those days yesterday but of course you know with her teething and being kind of uncomfortable i can understand but for the most part you know she's taking one good nap 
during the day and she's still sleeping at night however she is now um i don't know this last i think last night made the third night in a row because james and i were talking about it before he went to work this morning but yeah um last night made the third night in a row for some reason she's waking up in the five o'clock hour um, i mean it's not nighttime it is morning but it's still a little earlier than she's used to so, but she's been waking up in the five o'clock hours for the past three hey. nights. Uh, sometimes like 5.30 and then 5.45 and then like 5.15. So, I don't know. I think maybe I, I'm going to just, you know, chalk it up to maybe her teething again. It's making her uncomfortable. Feeding is going very well. And guess what? Somebody has started. Solid. 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 Right at six months, like as soon as she turned six months, we started her with solid on solid foods. And y'all, she's been doing really good. Yes, yeah, I like eating now that I've discovered it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so as of right now, she has eaten vegetables and fruit only. And some of the vegetables that she has tried so far is zucchini, sweet potatoes, snap peas, hey. butternut squash, and carrots. You want to tell them what your first love is? Hey. She really likes, um, yeah, there she is with that ear. So whenever she's, you know, whenever she's teething, she like, you know, kind of messes with her ear. That's been another thing. So, but anyway, um, sweet potato is actually her first love. That was the first food we tried with her. And she loved it. She fell in love with it. And she eats that actually more than I think any of the other ones. Um, and then some of the fruit that she's tried has been pineapple, berries, mango, and watermelon. So she actually already has started. And she has, she started developing a taste, y'all, for some of everything, really. So everything we've given her. So we've started her. You know, she's already had a whole bunch of different stuff, right? Yes. <laughs> she's she does it really well too so how we do is um with with her feeding is i or with her solid feedings i make all of her food and so basically what i do for all of the vegetables is just well everything is fresh so i just boil it down a little bit and then blend it in i have a smaller blender i have a big one for me but then i have a small blender um, that I use for her because it blends up stuff uh, uh, really well into a puree. So I just boil it, boil the vegetables down a little bit in some water and then blend it with some breast milk, with some of my breast milk. And then the fruit, I do the same thing minus the breast milk, of course. And then I feed her twice with the, so she, right now she, the, the solids are not replacing anything, any meals. So I'm still feeding her as I regularly would with the breast milk, but I feed her solids two times alongside the breastfeeding session. So that is usually at her 12 o'clock one. That's the one that she goes down um, for her nap. And then at her bedtime feeding. So some of her milestones, she's been doing really good with some milestones. One of those things is that she is getting really good with her hands, y'all, this month. So, you know, I've been doing a lot of practicing with her with, you know, so her fine motor skills are really getting developed. She's getting much, much, much better with those. I discussed in my... Um, in my essential video about toys. One of the new toys that I bought her um, is actually for a one-year-old, it's for a one or two-year-old. And we've been doing that, those little things on the on the toy where, you know, where she has to move, pick the pieces up and move them from side to side or move them up and down and those kinds of things. Um, I've been practicing with her with those. So she's actually been getting pretty good with those hands. The other big, I think, milestone for her this month is she's actually beginning to crawl. So we are getting mobile, mobile, getting mobile. She is a scooter. Well, actually what she'll do is she'll get in a position, but then she'll drag herself. So what I'll do is I'll put a toy in the distance and then let her. And so she just drags herself. So she's a dragger for right now. <laughs> so but we'll take it because you know um she's getting there she really is you say yes i am i'm getting there i'm getting there the last major milestone that she has had actually this month that's actually been really exciting is um her baptism so we posted about that um but yeah her baptism she's been she's had a baptism this month 
Yeah, I know. Say, I got baptized this month. I did. I did. So yeah, it was a really, it was a really nice um, occasion. It was. So yep, we streamed it right here in our girl. Where is your bow doing? So yeah, we streamed it right here in our uh, in our living room. Uh, uh, uh. We streamed it so that our family and friends could participate in it as well. I did the baptism because as we as you all know, I am an ordained clergy person. So um, I have the ability to do that. And it was really, it was really just an honor to be able to do that for her. It really was. And so it was a very special moment and it was very intimate and it was really nice. So, so anything else you want to tell the people? No. It, she loves to play with my hair. <laughs> I told her she going to have hair like this in a minute. It may not look like it right now, y'all. But honestly, when I was... When I was her age, I w it was I was the same way. <laughs> I didn't have much hair when I was her age. But now look. So yeah, come on, say bye, say bye bye, say bye bye. Yeah, I've been working with her on saying hello and bye and kiss, uh, and so we're working on those oh. words. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Say so I'll see y'all later. Thank you for talking to me. Say, I'll see y'all later. <laughs>